What's good with you, Shorty? Waiting on you. Yeah, I'ma finish filming this video and I'ma slide. I wanna try something new tonight. What you wanna do? I don't know. You want me to gorilla glue you to the ceiling fan and mm -hmm. eat you out while you spin around helplessly? <laughs> no, we already did that. Shit, you right. You right. I wanna bring a man. You say you wanna bring another man in the room? Yeah. My friend Frederico, he gay. He say he wanna fuck you. It and he want and he want fuck me. Yeah. He ain't nah. He ain't fucking me. Why? He ain't fucking me. If oh. anybody getting fucked in that room is him, and I'ma do it. He can do that. I'm the man in charge. Yeah. 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 Tell him that. Yeah. yeah. You tell him that. Okay. Yeah. He can do that. Yup. He okay with that. You tell him that. Okay. And okay. Let him know he buying the Astro Glide. I'm not paying for okay. that. I'm not paying for that. He got money. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a Pierre Bourne type beat. Algorithm, check. Upcoming album, check. I'm really a business-minded nigga. I'll be 25 steps ahead of niggas. I've been playing chess since I was three years old and a nigga can't stop me. I'm a grandmaster, nigga. Shit on a nigga like me. The first time we started with was this Farfissa organ. Farfissa organ. Articulate, enunciate, collaborate. That's what I'm really talking about. First thing we did to that sound was we just came into RC20, chose the vinyl 3 preset, turned the noise off because that motherfucker pissing me. Then we come over here to Wobble, just, you know, turn it down just a tad bit. Turn on the stereo, make that motherfucker wide as hell. And we come over here to distort and you just, you know, I don't even know if I did anything to it. But after the RC20, we just came in here and EQ'd that motherfucker. Took out a lot of the highs, took out a lot of the lows, and took out a little bit of the mids just to make it sound really vintage and just old. For the next time we came into Fab Filter 2 t squared. Niggas didn't know about this one, did you? I really be spilling the sauce like a little five-year-old child without a sippy cup, nigga. And I use the default sound. First thing we did to that sound was we came into Filter Freak, just came down here to this little button and chose this rhythm section, came up here and turned this to one bar. All this is doing is kind of automating EQ every one bar, so it makes your sound sound like it's kind of getting bigger. I don't know how else to Last thing we did to that sound was we just came into Shaper Box 2, chose this little pan section, and chose this diagonal line preset, because I just wanted to, you know, pan from left to right. Get your cheeks real tight, nigga, oh. and make sure you pan it from left to right. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! Here's what those two sounds sound like together. For the next sound, we just came into Analog Lab 5 and chose this can't get enough, can't, whatever the f it's called, bro. I can't read, I'm dyslexic. First thing we did to that sound, just EQ'd it a little bit, took out some of the highs, took out some of the lows, just to make that motherfucker in our little house. Next thing we did to that sound was we came into Filter Freak, just came down here, chose Rhythm. Bro, I'm not gonna explain again. If I have to repeat myself again, matter of fact, if I come up there and I find it, yo ass gonna be in trouble. Here's what those three sounds sound like together. For the next time, we just came into Analog Lab 5 and chose this A5 rotary organ preset. Come up here, you can search it up, you can do whatever the f you want, bro. I don't know. First thing we did to that sound was we came into EQ, took out some of the highs, took out some of the lows. I want y'all to notice right here, this looks like a nose. For whatever reason, shorties with the big noses got the fattest ass. Next, we just came into Effectrix and added this weird little vinyl. I don't even remember doing this bullshit. This sound only plays in the chorus section of the song, so here's what this sound sounds like with the sound in the section that it plays. I don't even know if that makes any sense. But the next time we just came into Purity, chose this lead synth section, and came right on down here and chose the tiny lead. Tiny lead, oh, so cute. Shut up. The only thing we did to that sound was we just EQ'd it. Here's what all those sounds sound like together. For the final sound of the melody, we came into Omnisphere and chose this pro soloist analog oboe. 
EQ, take the highs out of that motherfucker, please. Last thing we did to that sound was we just came into Shaper Box 2, chose this little wavy filter preset, and then we came over to the pan section and chose the same exact thing. Here's what all those sounds sound like together. Now time for the drums. First thing that we started with was just this simple hi-hat pattern. After the hi-hats, we just added this simple clap. Is there a booger? No, it's not a booger. After the hi-hats, I just added this super complex 808 pattern. After the 808s, I just came in and added this kick pattern just to, you know, completely optimize my bounce capabilities. After all that bullshit, I just came in here and added another really super complex open hat pattern. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this tutorial. Hopefully now y'all know how to make some Pierre Bourne type beats so you can go show your mommy and daddy how good of a producer you are. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, maybe turn on the notifications, click the bell, whatever them motherfuckers be saying at the end of their video. Niggas up in the comments talking about, oh, this be trash, nigga, you suck. Guess what? Guns coming. All that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.